Let me tell you a story of a weapon so great that it might have been lost, but not forgotten. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was an amazing crucible hand cannon that was one day sunset by the hideous and conniving company, Bungie. It started off as a solar energy weapon with an RPM of 180, then was nerfed to 150, but was eventually nerfed again to an RPM of 140 because it was just that damn good. <laughs> and guess what? It's still fucking good, even with an RPM of 140. Now, I have never been a fan of hand cannons in Destiny 2, and when I did find one that I liked, it either got nerfed to the ground, rip luck in the chamber, Hawkmoon, or was sunset. I'm starting to like Crimson, even though everyone hates it, but Ace of Spades is also feeling a little nice too when I go ahead and proc Momentum Mori. I was a little skeptical at first when my buddy Insidious told me to go ahead and pull out Not Forgotten and play with it during this week's Iron Banner. I mean, why would I? I have a God Roll Immortal Adept with Rainfinder and Target Lock, and I was just starting to like Crimson as well. But I caved in, and I went ahead and pulled out the Not Forgotten. Now, I remember Not Forgotten when it was in its prime, and man, I had some good fun in PvP. First, before you were even able to get Not Forgotten, you had to get Luna's Howl, which you had to do a crazy amount of requirements and then reach 2,100 points in glory. After you got Luna's Howl, you had to reach 5,500 points in glory to be able to finish the quest and then receive Not Forgotten. This quest was a serious grind, but in the end, it was so worth it. Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten have the unique trait called Magnificent Howl, which Rapidly landing two precision shots increases the next shot's damage and range for a short duration. And this is the updated text on it. It actually used to read something different. This perk is what made both of these two guns godly and eventually was the reason that they got nerfed and then later on sunset. Luckily for us, light doesn't matter in Iron Banner. So I was able to clap mofos and I loved every moment of it. I literally ran around the map, even though you can't hear me, and I was like, you got clapped with Not Forgotten. You got clapped with Not Forgotten. And I just got so excited with every single kill watching all the enemies fall. Now, the gameplay you are currently watching is my very first game that I actually played using Not Forgotten, and I got like 17 kills with this weapon itself, and I know that because I put on the Crucible Opponents Defeated Tracker. And <laughs> after seven games of Iron Banner, I had like over 130 kills with Not Forgotten. And I'm telling you, I went up against twin sweet businesses in the same match. And I came up on top. I went up against God Roll Immortal Edepts. And I came out on top. I rushed snipers with Not Forgotten, and they couldn't even react fast enough before dying to my Not Forgotten. So, if you guys have the Not Forgotten, or even the Luna's Howl, pull it out and play with it in PvP. I promise you, you will definitely have fun using it again, even if it's not the same RPM that it started out with. Given that Zen Moment got a buff recently, it makes the stability on this hand cannon feel so good. And given the fact that Not Forgotten has a range masterwork, and I went ahead and paired that with a targeting adjuster mod, which brings the aim assist to 84. Oh my God, <laughs> it's ridiculous. This gun has a magazine of 10 and a recoil direction of 100. And that makes this hand cannon a very dangerous weapon to face off against. But in the event that Bungie ever brings back Sunset Weapons, I will say that Not Forgotten is one, if not the most important weapon that I will be hunting down first. One thing I don't understand is when you go to the tower and you head towards the monument to Lost Lights, at the bottom with the Legacy Gear, you can see all of the Sunset Weapons, which have a white corner at the top left for Crucible, Gambit, and Vanguard. 
But if you go to the last page, it shows all of the ornaments for the non-sunset weapons. I think, and Bungie, I hope you're listening, I think that you should add all of the ornaments for all of the seasonal weapons, including sunset weapons, so that we can actually unlock them for our characters for the same cost as all of the other weapon ornaments. And that is 75,000 Glimmer, 100 Legendary Shards, two Enhancement Prisms, and one Ascendant Shard. I'm telling you, people will buy them. Regardless whether Bungie brings the Not Forgotten back or not, and if they give us access to those ornaments, this weapon needs more spotlight. I'm actually gonna play with this weapon for the next week during Guardian Games and see how it actually performs. I know that the Not Forgotten wasn't easy to get, so let me know down in the comments if you actually have a Not Forgotten or if you actually just settled with Luna's Howl. Also, let me know if you guys have been playing with the Not Forgotten recently and how you like or dislike it. I mean, you already know how I feel about the weapon and even after this video, I'm actually going to play with it a little bit more before sending it back to the vault. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. seconds. The hunt has ended. Three minutes remain. Keep the pressure and you have them. Zone A captured. Claims zone C. You strike as one. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. Vicious. Zone A lost. Captured zone C. Zone advantage is yours. Opponent claims zone A. Victory is yours for the taking. Seize it. Claimed zone B. You captured zone A. Two zones are yours. You are victorious. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.